Last year's weather wasn't just bad for farmers, it was rotten. And the, you can see there's nothing left at all. These are completely decomposed. Between October and January, Andrew Branton's farm had a year's worth of rainfall, destroying this potato harvest and compacting the field, meaning no spring crops here either. Each inch of rain, 25 mil, is 100 tonnes per acre of water sitting on that land. And we've had 24 of those inches. So 2,400 tonnes of weight has been on this field in the last four months. He's far from alone. Farmers across Europe have had losses, either from too much rain or not enough. A comprehensive analysis of the continent's climate identifies 2023 as the joint warmest and one of extreme contrast. It was in the top four wettest years for Europe as a whole, with a series of December storms causing a third of Europe's rivers to exceed the high flood threshold and England issuing 273 flood warnings and 294 flood alerts. But while 2023 ended in a washout, southern Europe had already endured extreme summer temperatures, drought, and in Greece, the largest wildfire on record. We know in a warmer climate, we will get more heat waves, and those heat waves will be more intense. We also know in a warmer climate that we will, um, the atmosphere can hold more moisture, which means these storm events or precipitation events will be more intense. Farmers don't need a climate scientist to tell them about the impact of extreme weather on the food they grow. These potatoes have been completely rotten in the ground by the amount of rainfall that fell last year and into this. But I was on this same farm back in 2022 when another potato crop had been destroyed by an extreme drought. That is just dust, yeah. literally dust. Food still grows in these extremes, just not as well or as cheaply as the market demands. It's becoming commercially impossible, frankly. There's no reason to, to produce a surplus of anything because, because historically it's been worth so little, you're, you're losing money on producing it. And, uh, and yet, realistically, to cater for a natural disaster, you need some contingency. Now, where it's dry enough, it's time to drill the flood-damaged soil and hope the climate this year is kinder.